Number 10, Nigella Lawson and Charles Saatchi. The couple's fight was witnessed by a photographer who stumbled upon celebrity chef Nigella Lawson being choked by none other than her husband, Britain's most high profile figure, Charles Saatchi. The incident all went down during her birthday lunch and a now infamous photo was captured of the chilling sight. The photographer, who only went by the name Jean Paul, told Vanity Fair in 2013 that when Charles grabbed his wife's throat, quote, it was so violent with such force that her head snapped backward. The story hit the tabloids at full speed and actually served to open up a much needed conversation about domestic violence. Their relationship was obviously far from perfect, but the intense controversy that the incident sparked was enough to tear them apart forever. That same year, Charles filed for divorce from Nigella after 10 years of marriage. Funnily enough, he later told the Daily Mail that putting his hands on her throat was merely a gesture and insisted that there was no pressure applied to her. Yeah, right. Number 9, Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphreys. Their 72 day marriage had certainly shown signs that it was going to end quickly. A few days before Kim divorced Chris on day 68, the couple were spotted arguing in their car while out on a dinner date in Hollywood. The newlywed couple were photographed heading back to Kim's car after after dinner and you could visibly see the tension in the air. Chris looked fed up and Kim was giving her new husband the death stare while yelling and waving her hands at him as the argument began to escalate. This very public fight was indicative that their relationship was on the rocks because that same year Kim went on to file for divorce and got the marriage annulled. The Los Angeles Times even reported that Kim had only married him to increase ratings on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. The best part was that Chris asked for a $7 million divorce settlement from his ex-wife. Otherwise, he threatened to make her endure an ugly public trial. But the NBA star ended up walking away with literally nothing. Number 8, Emma Roberts and Evan Peters. The American Horror Story actors first met on the set of Adult World in 2012, and in the short four years since then, the two have shared more drama than some of Hollywood's biggest blockbusters. Toxic doesn't even begin to describe their relationship. We're talking about at least three breakups and deleting all social media traces of each other. Early on in their relationship, TMZ reported that the two got into a heated argument while staying at a hotel in Montreal that ended up with both stars getting physical. When police arrived, Peters was found with a bloody nose and bite marks on his body, prompting police to take Emma into custody, arresting her for domestic violence. But her then boyfriend decided not to press charges and they were back together a few hours later. What's really bizarre is that a couple of days after the fight, photos were shared online of Emma clinging to Evan while sobbing into his arms after news broke of the fight. Paparazzi were even able to capture the two hugging one another, with Emma looking extremely upset the whole time. The incident was a bit of a grey area, but many have labelled it as straight up domestic violence. Number 7. Stephen Amell and Cassandra Jean Amell. The couple have been married since 2012 and all seemed well in public until it didn't. The star of CW's Arrow and his wife got into an altercation on a Delta flight from Austin to Los Angeles that ended up with the actor having to be forcibly removed from the flight. Stephen was reportedly screaming at Cassandra while they were seated on the plane and appeared to be intoxicated when a flight attendant asked him to calm down multiple times. When the fight escalated to the point of no return, the actor had to be restrained and removed by an air marshal and three flight attendants that worked together to get him off the plane. His wife did not go with him and instead chose to remain on the flight. Big surprise there. With the incident made public, Steven took to Twitter to try and explain the whole thing and claim that his emotions got the better of him. Quote, my wife and I got into an argument. I was asked to lower my voice and I did. Approximately 10 minutes later, I was asked to leave the flight and I did so immediately. I was not forcibly removed. The whole thing was really absurd because if they needed four people to get him off the flight, something about his side of the story just doesn't add up. Number six, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Before the former couple split, their relationship was clearly becoming strained, as The Sun reported that the same year that Jolie filed for divorce, they were spotted in Legoland having a major public spat. 
Onlookers told the magazine that both stars didn't look happy and looked stern-faced, and photos from the incident show Brad actually grabbing Angelina's arm while she pulls away and appears to be screaming at him. The couple filed for divorce in 2016, citing irreconcilable differences. Now the actors are both learning to co-parent their six children after years of custody battles and child support drama. According to Daily Mail, Brad has even been seen visiting Angelina's house to spend time with his kids, so it sounds like they are back on good terms. Number 5. Rihanna and Hassan Jamil. The former couple seemed like they were perfect for each other after rumors swirled that the two were engaged in 2017. Although they managed to keep their relationship very private and didn't post many photos together on social media, photos emerged of the two on a trip to Mexico in 2018 that left many fans wondering if they were done for good. The paparazzi captured photos that painted a picture of Rihanna screaming at her former billionaire boyfriend and angrily pointing her finger at him while they were on the poolside. What's interesting about the photos is that in comparison to Rihanna, Jamil looked very calm and almost passive in the argument, which made the whole thing go viral. Because of all the noise online, the singer took to Instagram and posted a meme of a female lion roaring at a male lion with the caption, quote, when you think you know more about soccer, hashtag World Cup 2018. But even though she had a good sense of humor about the fight, the couple still ended up splitting up in 2020 because allegedly their lives were just too different and it was too hard to maintain a relationship. Number four, Nicholas Holt and Jennifer Lawrence. The couple fell in love with each other when they first met on the set of the X-Men movie series and became co-stars. Jennifer played Mystique and Nicholas portrayed Beast. It all seemed to be going well for the pair until they suddenly split in 2014 after dating for nearly five years. They did have a really public fight, however, when they were once spotted arguing during a dinner. According to reports, the formal couple was at a restaurant together when they started really getting into it. Witnesses claim that the actress was upset about something and even threw her hands into the air at one point. Nicholas apparently also got very frustrated as he started shouting at her. Jennifer had apparently had enough with him and broke down as he stormed out of the restaurant. It seems like it was a bit of a mess, but it's great that the former couple have since been able to move on with their respective partners. Number 3. Simon Cowell and Lauren Silverman this was not just one explosive fight, but actually several. The lid was really blown off the couple's relationship problems when paparazzi captured photos of them in March last year having a tense argument while walking with their son Eric. According to The Sun, passerbys noticed that the X Factor judge had a face like thunder and their arguing was so loud almost everyone could hear them. In fact, it was reportedly so bad that Lauren got fed up and had to walk away from Simon while the former American Idol judge decided to cross the road to the other side to put some distance between them. And he walked the rest of the way on the other side of the street. But that wasn't the first time that the pair had a fight in public. In fact, back in 2013, the couple were seen shouting at each other inside a car in New York City. They were even photographed in the middle of an altercation while sitting in the back of an SBU in broad daylight with their windows down. Simon had his hands in the air and Lauren looked like she was crying. I guess it goes to show you that celebrities really are just normal people. Number two, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Yes, I'm about to talk about the infamous sushi fight. So in 2016, the paparazzi caught the power couple dining at a sushi park restaurant in LA. And from the photos which surfaced online, we can tell that they really got into it. It showed them having anything but a pleasant sushi date. Beyonce was yelling and waving her finger at Jay-Z while he looked like he was glued to his phone the whole time. They say that it's rude to use your phone at dinner, but even worse, he just seems like he wasn't listening to her at all. The truth is, we'll never know what started the public argument, but it wasn't the first intense fight that they've ever been in. This all took place two years after the bizarre elevator fight at the 2014 Met Gala between Jay-Z and Beyonce's sister Solange. When she started attacking him by punching and kicking him in an elevator, all while the bodyguards eventually had to restrain her. It was really quite funny because Beyonce was just standing there and watching it all unfold. The three artists did make a joint statement about the incident, which read, quote, They both have apologized to each other and we have moved forward as a united family. And coming in at number one, Shia LaBeouf and Mia Goth. 
The controversial actor Shia LaBeouf has had some seriously messed up allegations brought against him in recent years, but this fight was just so bizarre that it deserves a place on the list. The actor and his former longtime girlfriend Mia Goth, who has recently starred in the horror movie X, got into a heated altercation in Germany in 2015 that was all captured on video. The argument occurred on the streets and got so bad that a few locals had to intervene. Shia was heard shouting, quote, I don't want to touch a woman, I don't want to hit a woman, but I'm being pushed. He then got into a random person's car and had them drive him to the airport. He later told that same person that if he had stayed there, then he would have taken her life. But they seem to have made up after the fight and even got married in 2016 in Las Vegas, only to split up two years later. The relationship was probably a complicated one because in 2020, People Magazine reported that the pair were spotted together wearing wedding rings. Hopefully they parted for good because they seem to be extremely toxic together. Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is the Miley Cyrus kiss. You are probably wondering which one? It was the one that surprised everyone because it was so random and came shortly after the new that she had split from her husband, Liam Hemsworth. In the summer of 2019, photos went viral showing Miley on vacation kissing and cuddling with Caitlyn Carter, Brody Jenner's wife. People were very confused, but turns out Caitlyn and Brody had split very recently, and so did Liam and Miley. So the pictures were also a shock, not only to fans, but just everyone involved. Their fling only lasted a month, but Caitlyn has since opened up about how hard it was for her. She said, I went on vacation with a female friend. The next thing I knew, I was in love with her. Until that trip, it had never crossed my mind that I was even capable of loving a woman the way I loved her. She told herself that all her relationships after that one will be kept more private. Even though she and Miley did try to keep it private, the paparazzi got them. I remember they're kissing, they were under a hat trying to kiss and it was like, Busted ladies. Up next, number nine, we have Hugh Grant getting caught with a lady of the night, if you know what I mean. It was back in 1995 when he was caught on the Sunset Strip having an affair, paying a woman to get intimate with him in his car. He got busted and was arrested for lewd conduct in a public place. The news itself was a huge scandal because he was a huge Hollywood celebrity getting caught in the act, but it was a very sticky situation because he was with his longtime girlfriend at the time, Elizabeth Hurley. So not only did he publicly cheat on her, but it happened with someone that he paid. The two of them still tried to work through it as she chose to forgive him at the time, but things did not work out. In the end, she ended up leaving him five years later after this scandalous incident. Sliding into number eight is the infamous Princess Diana affair. This one could be seen as the biggest affair in all of Hollywood history since it involved people with such royalty. It was back in 1992 when The Sun leaked a transcript of phone calls that were captured between Princess Diana and James Gilby. The secret phone calls revealed the affair she was having on Prince Charles at the time as the two of them were still married. It was a massive scandal but got even more controversial when it was revealed that Charles was also having an affair with his now wife, Camilla Parker Bowles. So both members of royalty did not remain loyal in their marriage and obviously the rest of the world was freaking out about it. In spot number seven, we have Madonna, Christina, and Britney kissing. It has now gone down in history as one of the biggest moments caught on camera, even becoming a viral gif and meme. If this whole thing happened in 2021, it would never be a controversy, but things were a lot different back in 2003 when it happened. It was during the MTV Video Awards when Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, and Madonna performed together and ended up locking lips. Madonna just felt the need to rock the boat a little bit and kiss both of them during the live performance. Because times were so different back then, the cameras switched their shots quickly and cut to a shot of Justin Timberlake's very confused reaction. He was dating Britney at the time and looked just as confused as everyone else did. They ended up cutting the kiss shots out and they did not televise it, but the footage and photos were already all over the internet and they live on to this day. What an iconic moment. Next up at number six, we have Britney Spears getting called a terrible mother. When asking Britney about it, this scandal was just one big misunderstanding, but to the public, it was something very serious. In February of 2006, the paparazzi got photos of Britney driving in her car with her infant son on her lap instead of in a car seat in the back. The photos went viral immediately and media outlets began calling her a bad mother, obviously concerned for the safety of her child. But Britney tried to explain what happened and said that she was in a, I quote, 
horrifying, frightful encounter with the paparazzi. She said it was just a spur of the moment thing that she needed to get out of there as quickly as possible for her safety as well as her son's and she didn't have time to just stand there and buckle him in the car seat. Her intentions were to just leave the area to get away from the paparazzi and then buckle him in his seat like usual. But of course, uh, this was still a very dangerous decision and situation. Happy the list at number five, we have Kylie Jenner's pregnancy. Well, Kylie Jenner's secret pregnancy. That is why it was such a controversy. Normally, a woman becoming pregnant is very exciting news, but because she was 20 at the time and keeping it a secret, it was a more scandalous situation. Back in 2018, Kylie seemed to go quiet for a while from the Hollywood limelight, and no one understood why. For months, people were speculating that she was pregnant, but no one could ever get confirmation until the paparazzi finally got pictures of her with her very pregnant belly. The photos leaked online and it caused some outrage because fans just didn't know why she kept it a secret. She ended up apologizing in an Instagram post saying, I'm sorry for keeping you in the dark through all the assumptions. I understand you're used to me bringing you along on all my journeys. My pregnancy was one I chose not to do in front of the world. She shared her entire pregnancy though in a video called To Our Daughter, which was filled with videos and photos that she took along the way while she was hiding it from the world. It was actually beautiful. I watched it. <laughs> it was so cute. Cruising into number four, we have ASAP Rocky's arrest. It was a very dramatic event in 2019 when TMZ released a video showing that the rapper got into a street fight while he was in Sweden. Just days later, he was detained by the Swedish court for a suspected attack. It didn't help that there was video footage linking him to the case, but he maintained the claim that he was acting in self-defense. His detainment made worldwide news and even got the attention of Kim Kardashian and former President Donald Trump, who warned Sweden there would be negative consequences if they did not release him from prison. He ended up being found guilty of the assault, but was able to avoid jail time. Instead, he was handed a suspended sentence after the court found that the incident was not of such serious nature to warrant more time behind bars. He did pay the victim $1,300 in damages, and that was it. Rolling into number three is the Kanye West and Taylor Swift. Swift feud. I don't think anyone will ever forget the most cringe-worthy moment in award show history. The time in 2009 at the MTV Video Music Awards when Kanye West walked up on stage and grabbed the mic from her hand during the middle of her acceptance speech. She was accepting the award for best female video when he took the mic and announced to the room and the entire world that she did not deserve the award and that Beyonce should have won it. He gave a big speech about how Beyonce's video for single ladies and how it was the best music video ever ever created apparently, which was pretty good, but like, rude. The entire thing was incredibly awkward and even Beyonce felt horrible about the situation and looked horrified when he did it. But later in the show when Beyonce won an award, she called Taylor up on stage to let her finish her speech during her speech time. So it was really cute. Taking over our number two spot is Mel Gibson's leaked audio. Back in 2012, there was a crazy incident that went down between Mel and screenwriter Joe Esterhaz. Joe and his family were actually staying at Mel's home in Costa Rica when he went off on a crazy rant that left them terrified. What happened was, Mel was supposed to direct a movie called The Maccabees, but Warner Brothers passed on it after reading the script, which apparently Joe had written. Joe claimed that Mel purposely sabotaged the film, which was about a famous second century BC Jewish revolt and said that he did it for anti-Semitic reasons. The audio from his rant leaked because Joe's son had recorded it on his iPod. In his rant, he was lashing out at Joe for apparently not working hard enough on the script and blaming him for the reasons the movie was not moving forward. You can hear him cursing and throwing things and Joe says he released the audio on purpose so that everyone could see how Mel is behind closed doors. We already knew that though his DUI, his other racist rant that he went on. <laughs> we already know. <laughs> and our number one spot is Kurt Cobain. The most serious and controversial scandal on this list was the passing of the legendary musician and the debate that still remains around it. In 1994, he was found passed away in his home from a self-inflicted shotgun wound to the head. That is what the police report conducted at the time and photos of the crime scene were leaked online. People immediately started investigating the photos and then speculated on whether or not it was really self-inflicted. Some people pointed the finger at his then wife, Courtney Love. 
Since that day, tons of theories have floated around about who it may have been and what really happened to him. Honestly, if it wasn't for the released photos and the final letter that was found in his home, people probably wouldn't have been as skeptical. The letter was inconsistent and raised a lot of questions and the position of his body in the photos and then the things around him in the scene just didn't add up and it still remains a mystery to this day. Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is the Kevin Hart cheating scandal. In 2017, he broke the internet after video footage leaked and showed him with another woman. Allegations flooded the internet claiming that he had cheated on his wife at the time, Aniko Parrish, who was eight months pregnant with their son. Kevin was denying the rumors at the time, but then landed in the middle of an extortion attempt. Someone allegedly was in possession of a video of him with another woman engaging in sexual activity, and they were going to expose him if he did not give the money. Aniko later explained how she found out about the cheating scandal, and it was actually through a DM. She said, I was about seven or eight months pregnant and I was having breakfast and I opened my phone and immediately I just lost it. Kevin finally admitted to it and released a public apology to his wife and family and the two of them worked through it and they are still together to this day. They even have more babies together. Moving on to number nine, we have the infamous Pamela Anderson sex tape. This scandal is so crazy that it's almost too crazy to believe, but it is still one of the most talked about controversies. They actually have a TV series coming out about it. It was back in 1995 when she made a tape with her husband at the time, Tommy Lee. They made the tape during their honeymoon and said that it was never meant for anyone else's eyes. But just a few months after being filmed, it was being watched by millions of people. Turns out they were having their Malibu home renovated and had many workers at the time working on their home. An electrician named Rand Gauthier said that they owed him $20,000 but refused to pay it, so he wanted revenge. He ended up plotting a heist and stole their safe from their garage, which was filled with their jewelry, other prized possessions, and their tape. In order to avoid the security cameras, he decided disguised himself as the couple's dog by draping a white fur cover over himself. And then once he was inside, he lifted the safe and used a U-Haul dolly to move it. Like, I'm not even kidding, you cannot make this up. Of course, he then leaked the tape and it actually made $77 million in less than 12 months. Wow. In the number eight spot is Mike Tyndall. This was one of the biggest cheating scandals in Hollywood because it is never a good idea to cheat on the Queen of England's granddaughter. The English rugby player cheated on his wife, Zara Phillips, back in 2011. Well, he did or he attempted to, we're still not very sure. It was only a few weeks after he married the second child of Queen Elizabeth's daughter, Anne. Video footage captured him kissing so I guess he technically did cheat then, but he still denies it. Anyway, video footage captured him kissing a mysterious Bond woman in New Zealand, and the world was shocked. The incident was caught on CCTV cameras and then went viral immediately. Because it involved a member of the royal family, the scandal blew up even bigger than people expected. However, despite the massive scandal, the two of them continued to stay married. Cruising into number seven is Ariana Grande and the Donut. This one is a little more ridiculous compared to the other ones. Who would have thought a donut would cause so much drama? Back in 2015, Ariana was exposed after someone posted surveillance footage of her licking a donut. She and her boyfriend at the time, Ricky Alvarez, decided to play truth or dare at a donut shop, and apparently that was one of the dares. In the footage, you can see them daring each other to lick the donuts that were on display for purchase. People thought it was inconsiderate to the business, obviously, but there was more to it. In the video, you can also hear her saying, I hate Americans, I hate America. So obviously, Americans weren't very thrilled about it. She faced a ton of backlash for it and released an apology video taking responsibility for her actions. Like what? <laughs> Who'd be out here just licking donuts on display? <laughs> probably have to buy them all after that. Rolling into the number six spot is Tristan Thompson caught cheating. Technically speaking, his scandal was two different times because he was caught cheating twice. What a guy. The first time was when his girlfriend, Khloe Kardashian, was in the hospital about to give birth to their daughter. Security footage leaked online showing him kissing another woman in a nightclub more than one time. On top of that, video footage showed him going to a hotel with that same woman that he was kissing in the club. After the scandal blew over and she gave birth to their daughter, she did decide to forgive him and stayed with him. But then later down the road, it was revealed that he had cheated once again, but with Kylie Jenner's best friend, Jordan Wood, 
Woods, who was basically a sister to Chloe and the rest of their family. I remember when the video first broke the internet, it was crazy because like news articles announced that Chloe was in labor and then Tristan was out cheating while she's in the hospital. It was crazy. It was nuts. Yet she stayed. Happy the list at number five is Bryce Hall. That's all, just Bryce Hall. <laughs> it is safe to say the TikTok star has had many scandals in his career so far, but one of them was a physical altercation that got caught on camera. It was actually two incidents on two different occasions. The first one was in late 2020 when he posted a video of he and his friends physically attacking an unknown man outside of a restaurant. He exposed himself and tweeted the video and said, we don't condone violence, but if you punch someone in front of us, we'll have no choice but to defend ourselves. But Bryce's security guard was in the video with them and everyone was quick to say that the altercation could have been avoided and that posting the video was showing that you did condone the violence. Then just a few weeks after this first video, another one leaked online of Bryce attacking a server at a restaurant in LA. Apparently in LA, it is illegal to vape in restaurants and when the server told him to stop, he got mad and attacked the employee. The footage was crazy and unfortunately, uh, we cannot share it on here. So I apologize. <laughs> but the fighting videos are pretty wild to watch. Moving on to number four, we have the Janet Jackson wardrobe malfunction, a moment caught on camera that will forever be remembered. You might have even guessed that it would be on this list. It wasn't just caught on camera though, it was actually aired live in front of the entire world. Back in 2004, she paired up with Justin Timberlake to perform at the Super Bowl halftime show, and as most of us know it, things did not go to plan. Near the end of the song, they were performing some of the rehearsed choreography, and Justin was supposed to pull off part of her costume but instead of revealing what was underneath, he exposed her bare breast instead. One of the worst fails ever at the worst timing. It was said that at that halftime show, it had 140 million viewers that night. Taking third place is Lamar Odom's paparazzi freakout. Celebrities having a little freakout on the paparazzi isn't anything new, but this one crossed the line and took things too far. The NBA star was exposed in some leaked video footage where he was yelling at a paparazzi man and destroying all of his equipment. Turns out the pap had asked him about his affair on Khloe Kardashian at the time and he lost his cool. He found the pap's car, which was parked nearby, and he took a crowbar, opened it, and started throwing all of his camera equipment in the middle of the road. Road. Even after he had thrown it on the ground, he went over to it, picked it up, and just kept smashing it to make sure that it was broken. Tons of people were driving by, so fans were just standing there confused watching the whole thing happen. The man ended up pressing charges though, and Lamar paid him for new equipment and apologized. Rolling into the number two spot, we have Paris Hilton. I'm sure you can guess which one this is. Another sex tape scandal that we could never forget. It's tough to say if this was technically caught on camera or not, since she part participated in the video, but the whole scandal has been a huge controversy because a lot of people think that it was a publicity stunt. Back in 2003, her tape was allegedly leaked online, but things seemed to be a bit sketchy. The video was called One Night in Paris and showed footage of her and her ex-boyfriend, Rick Salomon. But when it was leaked, the video footage at that point was three years old, so people didn't know why it just randomly came out three years later. Paris claimed that her ex leaked it, but people think she did it because it was leaked just just before the premiere of her new reality show. I personally don't want to say that she leaked it in case she really didn't because that is a horrible thing to have something intimate and personal leaked online like that. But all the articles I have read claim that it was a PR stunt and that she did benefit from it if you know what I'm saying. She got money. Winning the number one place is the Britney Spears umbrella drama. While it may have seemed funny at the time, in more recent years, we learned that it was actually more serious than anyone knew, and Britney was really struggling with mental health issues at that time. The incidents became a meme and a gift for many years, but now it's not so funny anymore. Back in 2007, we saw footage of her freaking out on paparazzi and smashing their car with an umbrella. In the same night, we also saw footage of her going to a hair salon and shaving off all her hair, and then getting a tattoo just a few moments later. The night was very chaotic and people didn't understand why she was just spiraling out of control. The umbrella from the incident was actually kept by the paparazzi man who got attacked and 10 years after the incident, he auctioned it off in LA and was starting the bid for $50,000. Starting us off at number 10, we have the Justin Timberlake cheating scandal. If you missed this one, then prepare for your heart to be broken because, oh, this one hurts. 
Fans adore Justin and his wife, Jessica Biel, who are married and have two kids together. Honestly, they seem to be the power couple in Hollywood. But that all changed in 2019 when photos leaked online showing Justin holding hands and getting cozy with his co-star, Alicia Wainwright. The pictures were taken in New Orleans where he was filming and apparently the cast had a night off and decided to go to a local bar. In the pictures, Justin is having drinks, holding her hand, and she is also stroking his knee at one point. But what most people pointed out very quickly was that he did not have his wedding ring on. For obvious reasons, this started a huge cheating rumor mill, but Justin released a public statement saying nothing happened further than those photos. He apologized and said that his actions were wrong and Jessica Biel gave him a chance to prove himself. She was very forgiving. <laughs> Up next, number nine, we have the epic elevator fight. This one shocked everyone when video footage surfaced in 2014 of Solange Knowles and Jay-Z having an argument in an elevator. Surveillance footage at a hotel caught Solange physically attacking her brother-in-law who didn't put his hands on her at any point in this footage. It was a bit confusing for people to watch because the elevator ride was just quiet and normal at first, but then what seemed like out of nowhere, she just snaps and starts to kick him. Fans got an explanation later on when reports claimed that that she was mad at Jay-Z for allegedly getting too close with Rachel Roy, his business partner's wife. But the two of them spoke on it later on and said that alcohol was involved and that they have worked it out and they are on good terms again. Basically, they said it was very simple. They are like brother and sister and so they fight like brother and sister. I've been there, my sister's chased me around with a hammer one day and then loves me the next. And that's a fact. Cruising into the number eight spot is Miley Cyrus's bong video. Back in 2010, this was one of the biggest scandals to happen because it was a Disney star gone wild situation. Miley had been exposed on social media and in paparazzi many times, but she doesn't seem too bothered by it usually. But she probably cared a little bit more about this scandal because someone exposed her online in a video of her hitting a bong on her 18th birthday. Let's keep in mind that during this time, this was not legal by any means, and she was still associated with the Disney Channel, so obviously it was very detrimental to her career and reputation. After Disney started making public statements about it, Miley claimed that she was smoking salvia, which is a natural and legal herb with psychedelic properties. No one believed her though, in all honesty, and then years down the road, she admitted to what it really was, which we already knew. <laughs> Miley. Moving on to number seven, we have Reese Witherspoon's DUI. That is a sentence that I never thought I would say. No one wants their personal life getting caught on camera, but you most definitely do not want a DUI getting caught on camera or your legal record for that. It's worse in Reese's case because hers was filmed and then exposed to the entire world. It happened back in 2013 when she was with her husband at the time, Jim Toth, and they were pulled over by an Atlanta cop on suspicion of a DUI. The police dash cam caught the whole thing on tape and showed Reese going into some erratic rage, which actually led to her being arrested. Her husband was the one driving, so he was actually the one with the drink driving charge, but Reese was intoxicated and just felt feisty and she felt the need to stick up for her husband. In the video, you can see Reese yelling at the police officers and not listening to their orders, which were telling her to sit down. They ended up putting her in handcuffs and then she lies to them saying that she's pregnant and has to pee as an attempt to get out of the handcuffs. They ended up both being arrested and she ended up pleading no contest to physical obstruction of another and Jim pled guilty to his DUI. In spot number six, we have Winona Ryder's shoplifting scandal. She has one of the most trending surveillance tapes from any celebrity misconduct that's ever been caught on camera. The footage was released back in 2001 when she was one of the biggest Hollywood stars at the time that everyone was talking about. But then everyone was talking about her for all the wrong reasons. Video footage leaked and showed her shoplifting merchandise worth $5,000 from Saks Fifth Avenue and Beverly Hills. The incident and legal battle put her career on hold for a while, but later down the road, she said that it was the the best thing that could have happened to her at that point in her life. She explained and said that she felt like she was hitting a wall and what happened gave her the time off that she needed. Honestly, I don't get when like celebrities shoplift, like you are rich and you could probably get half that stuff for free simply because of who you are. Like, what are you doing shoplifting? You have $5,000. 
At number five, we have Leanne Rimes and Eddie Cibrian cheating scandal. This one was messy. The two of them were co-stars in the 2009 movie Northern Lights, but they seemed to grow a closer relationship than just co-stars. At the time, Leanne was married to the dancer Dean Shearman for nine years and Eddie was married to model Brandy Granville. During the shoot of their movie, they upgraded their friendship to another level and surveillance footage caught the whole thing on tape. Video footage from a restaurant showed the two of them having dinner together and even sharing a kiss and holding hands. Even though the footage showed them straight up kissing, the two of them denied infidelity, which just made people even more angry at the situation because like, you got caught. What do you mean? Sniping our number four spot is David Hasselhoff Drunken Hamburger Feast. If this is your first time hearing about it, then you're probably really confused as to what I'm talking about. It seemed silly at first, but it was actually a lot more serious than people knew. The video footage surfaced online back in 2007 and was actually exposed on social media by his own daughter. She didn't have bad intentions. She just posted the video clips online thinking no one would see it or that no one would really pay attention to it. The video showed her dad completely wasted, lying on the floor, struggling to eat a hamburger, which normally would be funny to watch, but he is a recovering addict and the video exposed that he was no longer sober like he was claiming to be. In the video, you can hear his 16 year old daughter saying, I quote, dad, you need to promise me you're not gonna get alcohol tonight, okay? If you get alcohol tonight, you are fired from your show tomorrow. And a doctor is coming over here in the morning to check your alcohol level and if there's any alcohol in your system, you're going to be fired. So it was actually a lot more serious than people thought. David ended up admitting to his relapse and issued an apology. Taking over our third spot is Jamie Lynn Spears and the Pita Pit fight. A lot of people learned not to mess with Britney Spears' little sister back in 2015 after surveillance footage showed her doing something crazy. She was having lunch at a Pita Pit restaurant when a fight just broke out in the dining area, which actually included one of her friends. Jamie was not actually involved in the fight and she was trying to break it up, but it was unsuccessful. So she did the unthinkable. She actually was able to grab her friend and pulled her out of this brawl. And then she walks behind the food counter and grabs a bread knife and starts waving it around as a warning to the people fighting. No one got hurt and no, she did not actually use the knife on anyone, but who knew that this Nickelodeon star had that kind of fight in her? That is pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. Swinging around a bread knife, <laughs> I can't even imagine. Moving on to the number two spot is Kate Moss gets caught with substances. The famous incident happened in 2005 and by that time, everyone knew that the English supermodel was having some substance issues, but this was the first time that her addiction came out as a legit story. Video footage surfaced online showing the model snorting five lines in the course of 40 minutes. Turns out there was a hidden camera in the recording studio that she had been hanging out in with her then boyfriend, Pete Doherty. Once the photos and video footage surfaced everywhere, she lost all of her fashion clients like Burberry and H&M who ended their campaigns with her immediately. All of the contracts that she lost were worth more than $4 million. Rumor has it though, that the only brand to actually stick by her during that time was Chanel, who announced that they were willing to renew her contract despite what happened in that video. Earning a number one spot is Caitlyn Jenner's car accident. This one is more serious than some of the other ones on our list and it turned into a significant legal battle. Caitlyn got into a car accident back in 2015, which quickly turned into a serious lawsuit after one person was killed. Caitlin was uninjured in the crash, but after being exposed on social media, she was deemed a lawsuit for wrongful death. Video footage was posted online, which captured the entire accident on camera, showing Caitlin's Escalade. Her Escalade was carrying an off-road vehicle and she ended up hitting two cars, causing one car to hit the other car. One of the drivers, Kim Howe, was 69 years old at the time and sadly passed away in the crash. At the time of the investigation, even though the tape clearly shows who is at fault, she was able to walk away without any charges. However, three years after the accident in 2018, she was sentenced to pay $800,000 for the settlement of the case. 
The Grammys had a massive slip up last night, accidentally releasing the wrong name on their X page for the recipient of the Best Rap Song Award. They announced that Barbie World from Barbie the Album, performed by Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice, won when it was actually Killer Mike for scientists and engineers. This was especially awful as this would have been Nicki Minaj's first Grammy win, something fans have been lobbying for for years. Nicki has been nominated 12 times since 2011, but has never taken anything home. It was an unfortunate mistake that was quickly fixed, but not before multiple fans grabbed screenshots of the tweet. They announced on Twitter, and this is their Twitter, that Barbie World, Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice just won Best Rap Song. Then they go say the Grammys official account mistakenly announced Barbie World as the best rap song winner instead of scientists and engineers. What the hell? Miley Cyrus has finally won a Grammy. It's about time. She won for her track Flowers in the Best Pop Solo Performance category. Flowers spent 38 weeks at the top of the Billboard Adult Contemporary chart, making it the longest running number one hit in the chart's history. The hook of the song and just the message in general had quite a chokehold over TikTok when it first came out. My point is, the song was popular. Everybody was singing it, just not last night during Miley's performance. Leading to an awkward moment where Cyrus called out the silent crowd saying, why are you acting like you don't know this song? Which is fair, the song is super fun, and pretty soon after, lots of people were up and dancing. Miley continued to bring the energy after she sang, started to cry, but then remembered, I just won my first Grammy. No one was silent after that. She also received the Grammy for the record of the year, also for flowers. Phoebe Rexa was nominated this year with David Guetta in the pop dance recording category for their collab, One in a Million. Phoebe is known on her own for party anthems like Me, Myself, and I, and In the Name of Love, but did you know about her extensive opera? Training. If you didn't, you probably found out last night in the middle of her red carpet interview with Laverne Cox. The pair started out with the average red carpet talking points, the songs, and the glam, but towards the end of the interview, Laverne brought up a past time the pair had met when Baby revealed she wanted people to get to know the real her. She also brought up the fact that Baby is a talented opera singer, asking her to share something about herself singing if she wants. And she did! The two of them were having a lot of fun, but for the viewers at home and on the side of the screen, Screen, there was a bit of confusion as to why a high C was suddenly being heard. Plus, singing with no music, unprepared, is always an awkward experience. Although, if this were going to happen on any red carpet, it would be the Grammys. Just a few days ago, UMG Studios announced that it would be pulling all of their artists' music from the popular social media app TikTok, prompting disappointments from fans worldwide. This would include songs from people like Taylor Swift, Olivia Rodrigo, Harry Styles, and Drake. UMG announced that the reasoning for that was TikTok. TikTok wasn't providing adequate compensation for the use of the music. This year's host, Trevor Noah, he did not shy away from the situation. He called it out, saying, TikTok, shame on you for ripping off all these artists. That's Spotify's job. Spotify was minding their business, but I guess no one is safe. Spotify did have a similar controversy a few years ago, but there is a new policy being put in place this year that no one is a fan of. The change is that if an artist receives less than a thousand streams, they won't be compensated at all. For reference, Spotify pays artists about 0.003 to 0.005 of a cent per stream. That's only about $3 for 999 streams. Maybe they did deserve the call out. SZA won her fourth Grammy yesterday for her song, Snooze. It was in the best R&B category, but she was the most nominated artist for the evening with nine nominations. Longtime friend Lizzo got to announce the R&B win and it was met with plenty of excitement from the audience, only SZA was nowhere to be found. She took so long to come out on stage that people started looking for her. It only took about 20 seconds for her to come out on stage, but on a stage and screen as big as the Grammys, that feels like an eternity. SZA did explain her absence during her acceptance speech. She was in the middle of a costume change and had to do a, I'm assuming, celebration shot. Casey Musgraves was nominated in two categories last night, Best Country Song and Best Country Duo slash Group Performance, for the song I Remember Everything, winning the latter. She had the opportunity to present an award this year. Unfortunately, the new winner almost didn't hear their name. Casey was standing so far back from the mic that the audience and at home viewers had to strain to hear her. She did correct her mistake in time to announce the winner, eventually moving further forwards to actually announce the name. There was a bit of awkward silence as everyone tried to hear exactly what was going on beforehand though. Another awkward red carpet moment came from actor and singer Michael 
Trotter. He revealed in an interview that he had been pretty worried because he thought his wife, singer Tanya Trotter, was going to divorce him before their Grammy nomination. As an interviewer, I wouldn't know what to do with that if I received that info, but they handled it well. The pair is still together under the name War and Treaty and were nominated for their collaboration, Lover's Game, in the Best New Artist category. They received two nominations for the evening, but did not go home with either, unfortunately. Not everyone loves audience participation, even some of the biggest artists on the planet. During Fantasia's Tina Turner tribute, eagle-eyed fans spotted Beyonce slightly hiding under her hat, not making eye contact when Fantasia was looking for a dance partner. The performance is a lot of fun and packed full of energy, so I can understand Beyonce maybe wanting to sit back and enjoy watching instead of being a part of the piece. Beyonce was not nominated for any Grammys this year. She did attend though with her daughter Blue Ivy to support her husband Jay-Z, who was receiving the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award. Beyonce has received 88 nominations and 32 wins over the years, making her the artist with the most Grammy awards, yet never an album of the year. Which actually led to another awkward moment. Not necessarily awkward for the audience, and more awkward for the Grammys. During Jay-Z's acceptance speech for the Impact Award, he used part of his time to call out the award show for snubbing his wife in the best album category. He said, I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than anyone, and never won album of the year. Even by your own metric, that does not work. Think about that. Most Grammys never won album of the year. That doesn't work. And he's right. Beyonce has created some of the best music and pop culture moments of our generation, and she's never won in that category. That's kind of weird. This isn't the first time Jay-Z has stood up to the Grammys. In 1998, he boycotted the Grammys over rapper DMX's lack of nominations. Probably the most awkward moment of all happened after someone left the Grammy stage. Rapper Killer Mike won three Grammys last night for best rap song, best rap performance, and best rap album for his 2020. 23 album, Michael. However, what should have been a celebratory evening turned sour when he was seen leaving the event in handcuffs. A social media post from the LAPD said the reason the rapper was taken into custody was because he got into a physical altercation that occurred at the 700 block of Chick Hearn Court. Allegedly, he got physical with a security guard that was not moving fast enough for Killer Mike's liking. No other details have been released yet. First off, we have Travis Kelsey screaming at his coach, Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey, didn't mean anything by his shouting at head coach Andy Reid early on Sunday's Super Bowl. It was all part of the star's competitive spirit, a source tells Page Six. Kelsey was clearly irritated and frustrated after the Chiefs lost a fumble in the second quarter of their thrilling comeback overtime win over San Francisco. The 34-year-old star and boyfriend to Taylor Swift was seen on video yelling in Reed's face and even bumping the coach as he wanted back into the game following the turnover. Teammate Jarek McKinnon even had to hold Travis back. Viewers were quick to pounce on Kelsey's actions, but a source brushed aside any real animosity between the player and the coach. Quote, he's just a passionate player and everybody is on edge. It's the Super Bowl, but there was no mal intent. Next up, we have Usher's halftime show. Viewers look forward to the halftime show each year, but this year's performance fell flat. Usher's halftime performance during this year's Super Bowl between the Kansas City Chiefs and San Francisco 49ers has come under fire from thousands across the globe. As the players took a well-deserved break in the Allegiant Stadium locker rooms, Usher took to the field to belt out a long list of his best-known hits. While the thousands in attendance were on their feet, it's safe to say the performance fell a bit flat, with several watching at home. Complaints flooded in from the very beginning of the performance, with many moaning that the sound quality was, quote, awful, and that Alicia Keys' singing was off-pitch, and that there was no wow moment from any of the performers. Taking issue with the sound quality, one ex-user fumed, Usher is horrible in live settings. I could barely hear him on top of that. Worst halftime show in a long time. Worst halftime show ever. Didn't even hear Usher sing properly. Really disappointed, a second user said. A third echoed, this is historically bad. Congrats, Usher. Every year the halftime show is worse and worse. Hashtag Super Bowl. This didn't break the internet. A fourth user hit out. Out, while a fifth bluntly put, quote, the worst Super Bowl halftime show performance ever. Even those who enjoyed Usher's performance couldn't help but criticize the audio problems that plagued it, including one person who weighed in saying, it was a great show, but audio was awful. But a little better towards the end,
friends, but you could barely hear Usher at all. A second Diplomatic viewer concurred, seen better and seen worse halftime shows. There to me was no wow moment, disappointing on the sound quality from most of it. But it got better when Usher went to a mic. Next up, let's discuss some of the Super Bowl commercials this year. There's only one day per year where the commercials are actually anticipated, and this would be the Super Bowl. It has always cost companies a ton of money to have their brand advertised during the big game, and the expectation with the ads has always been that they are worth watching. That is certainly true of some more than others. Every year, fans will come away with some ads that crack them up or hit them in the feels. But there are just as many ads that leave fans disappointed they didn't use those 30 seconds for the bathroom break. Our first bad commercial is Timu. There's a lot going on in this commercial, let's just say. First of all, the jingle they have is not Burger King Whopper catchy. It's just plain annoying. On top of that, their slogan, quote, shopping like a billionaire, doesn't really make sense because it doesn't mean shopping for dresses that are $9.99. Another commercial that was just plain awkward is the Snapchat commercial. The commercial starts with bashing other social media platforms and then ends with a slogan that says, less social media, more Snapchat. Only one problem, Snapchat, you are also a social media platform. Next up, let's discuss an awkward singing moment. One of the commentators was caught singing along to Adele's Rolling in the Deep right before the commercial break, and it didn't sound too good. While he was trying to hit the high notes of Adele's smash hit, another commentator said, all right, let's take it to commercial break. Yikes. Now let's discuss the Super Bowl injuries, an athlete's worst nightmare. This year, 49ers linebacker Dre Greenlaw injured his Achilles tendon while jogging onto the field and got taken out of the game. As Greenlaw prepared to run back onto the field for another Niners defensive series, with 9 minutes 26 seconds left in the second quarter of Sunday's Super Bowl, he injured his left leg. Coach Kyle Shanahan confirmed after the game that Greenlaw tore his Achilles tendon. Super, super painful. Fellow San Francisco linebacker Fred Warner reacted in anger upon seeing Greenlaw get hurt. Defensive end Nick Bosa watched in stunned silence as Greenlaw hobbled the few feet to the sideline, where medical staff began treating him immediately. Moments later, a teary-eyed Greenlaw was taken to the locker room on a cart. It was hard. Sometimes when things like that happen, it could sway the momentum just because it's such an emotional feeling, Bosa said. Dre is a one of one human being. He was pushing through so much this year, and I think 99% of players wouldn't have been able to do what he did. He put his body on the line for us, and it sucks we couldn't get him a win. As often happens with Achilles injuries, Green Laws came without contact and at the most inopportune of times. The Niners had just punted the ball back back to the Chiefs before Greenlaw and his defensive teammates were about to go back on the field. Greenlaw was able to stand up and limp to the sideline, but he and the Niners seemed to have a pretty good idea of what had just happened. The 49ers initially said Greenlaw was questionable to return, but he was soon ruled out. Now let's talk about Nickelodeon covering the Super Bowl. Nickelodeon added its own spin on the sports event by showing celebrities as cartoon sea creatures. The Nickelodeon announcer in Introduced the celebs including LePron James and Finn Diesel, Billy Eilish, and Herring Styles. In addition to the strange cartoon celebrities, Sandy Cheeks from SpongeBob was the main commentator, and they referred to Travis Kelsey all night as Taylor Swift's boyfriend. Next up, let's discuss the bizarre Robert F. Kennedy Jr. presidential campaign commercial. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. actually apologized to his family Sunday evening after a Super Bowl ad backing his presidential bid ran during the event. Why it matters. The ad was an extraordinarily expensive investment and generated online buzz for the long shot presidential candidate who is seeking to boost his national name recognition. I'm so sorry if the Super Bowl advertisement caused anyone in my family pain, Kennedy wrote on X. 
Sunday evening. This commercial was seen as a parody of his uncle John Kennedy's presidential campaign commercial from the 60s. Robert Kennedy later said the ad, which remained pinned at the top of his ex page Monday morning, was made without any involvement or approval from his campaign team. Now, let's discuss the Andre Day performance. Most thought it was absolutely beautiful, but prominent supporters of Donald Trump were furious with the inclusion of the Black National Anthem at the Super Bowl. The pre-game performances at this year's Super Bowl included a rendition of Lift Every Voice and Sing, performed by recording artist Andra Day. The hymn, adopted by the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, is often referred to as the Black National Anthem. Former Arizona Senate candidate Carrie Lake responded to a picture showing her sitting down during a performance of the hymn. Lake said on X, formerly Twitter, on Sunday, I'm still not standing for this divisive garbage. One nation, one anthem. The account and wokeness added, there is no such thing as a black national anthem. If you have a problem with the American national anthem, feel free to leave. Before the game, Representative Matt Gates said on X that he would not watch the Super Bowl because that he would not watch the Super Bowl because, quote, they're desecrating America's national anthem by playing something called the black national anthem. What is worse is that after Andrew Day performed, one of the commentators announced that they were going to, quote, celebrate America after coming back from the commercial break. Yikes. Now, our last two points involve other Super Bowl years, but are just as awkward. Remember that iconic moment when Miami Dolphins coach Don Shula was carried up by his team after they won Super Bowl in 1973? Well, while the players hoisted up their coach, a fan came onto the field to try and shake his hand, only to yank his watch right off his wrist. Fortunately, Shula was able to go after the fan and retrieve his watch quickly. Lastly, we have the iconic Katy Perry Super Bowl moment. Katy Perry headlined the Super Bowl halftime show in 2015 on a fantastic beach party themed stage. But what most people seem to remember from it was how one of her shark dressed dancers seemed to dance completely out of sync with the other backup dancer. To be fair, it can't be easy dancing around in that shark costume. Nevertheless, Left Shark has since become an internet phenomenon that did the unthinkable and stole Katy Perry's spotlight. Starting off our list at number 10 today, we have Beyonce and Jay-Z. Back in January of 2015, Beyonce and Jay-Z had anything but a quiet sushi night as the megastar couple was captured getting into it at Sushi Park Restaurant in Los Angeles. In released photos, Beyonce could be seen yelling at her husband. And later, OK Magazine would then speculate that the altercation happened because Jay-Z's non-stop cell phone use during dinner. However, like many mysteries and the fact that the couple usually tends to keep their private life, you know, pretty private, no one can say for sure what the two may have been arguing about. However, this wouldn't be the couple's first public fight since back in 2014, the couple had an infamous elevator incident that first brought potential difficulties in their relationship to light. And both have explored marital conflict in their albums 444 and Lemonade, respectively. But it seems like all is well now as they continue to gush about each other in interviews and back in 2017, Jay-Z also said he was really proud of the art Beyonce was releasing and he also noted that she was amazing. Coming in number 9, Emma Roberts and Evan Peters. Just before Emma Roberts and Evan Peters split for good, the American Horror Story co-stars in 2013 were caught on camera while they had a pretty serious physical fight. While it may have seemed at the time that the two were actually a perfect couple in Hollywood, it was anything but perfect. When the two stars started to make headlines after they had a pretty public fight in Montreal, the New York Daily News would then report that the Montreal police had to attend to the scene after people called in a domestic situation. When the police showed up to the couple's hotel room, they would find Evan with a handful of injuries, which included a bloody nose and a bite mark. The police then opted to arrest Emma on the scene even after Evan chose not to file charges against her. Although Emma was released, the paparazzi would then capture her breaking down when she learned the news had reached the media. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming in number 8, Miley Cyrus and Liam Hensworth. When Miley Cyrus and Liam Hensworth posed at the LA premiere of the Avengers Endgame in 2019, their red carpet smiles didn't last too long. As the two 
widely displayed their different styles and tensions between them were pretty palpable. When Miley couldn't stop talking about how she wanted to let her hair down and have a crazy fun night out, Liam was there to support his brother Chris and was hoping to have a fairly chilled evening. And it appears neither of them would end up leaving the red carpet happy at the end of the night. As Miley, you know, did Miley, as she was seen vamping it up for photographers, and her Aussie actor hubby at the time grew increasingly uncomfortable, resulting in the famous duo getting into their first major fight as a married couple. And you could even see Liam at one point on the red carpet telling Miley to behave. After the two then walked off the red carpet, Liam would then angrily accuse Miley of turning the premiere into the Miley show. And once the couple got home, a source would then reveal that they got into a big fat argument. And then jump to the day, Miley wrote a song called flowers that highlights their relationship and how it was never perfect. And it's been number one on the billboards for the last three weeks. And she even took a jab at Liam in the music video by wearing the suit he wore that night on the red carpet. At number seven, we have Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck. Before Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck decided to go their separate ways, the world was pretty shocked to learn that their marriage was anything but perfect. While there were plenty of rumors in 2015 that suggested Ben had been unfaithful in their marriage with the the family's former nanny. After the couple returned home from vacation, a fight would break out shortly after and this is when they dropped their three children off at school. Onlookers would then tell in touch that Jennifer and Ben were in their SUV when things started to get a little out of hand. They even started to claim that there was lots of gesturing through it all. And the photos and videos captured, you could see Jennifer crying. This is when people started to believe that Ben was making it clear that their marriage was over and that he was going forward with the divorce. Number six, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. At one point in time, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt were Hollywood it couple and you couldn't turn around without seeing them mentioned somewhere in the street. But it seems like after the couple filed for divorce and went their separate ways, they have been hitting headlines for some pretty serious accusations. Before the couple ultimately decided to part ways, they would be spotted at Legoland in Windsor and they would be spotted coming off this ride with their children and the couple could be seen getting into a pretty serious argument where Brad would be shown touching Angelina's arm before she pulled away and decided to to shout in the actor's face while they were in public. The people who captured the photos then said they saw the couple again later and they looked like they were still arguing sometime later. Number five, Channing Tatum and Jenna Dawin. While it seems to be a trend of couples meeting on the set of movies and getting together and becoming couples, Channing Tatum and Jenna Dawin were no exception as the pair started dating shortly after they worked together on the iconic dance movie, Step Up. Although it looked like things were going extremely well for the pair, they would show the world that there were signs that things were off for months before they announced their divorce. Jenna would even open up about the couple's last months together in their relationship in her book. This is when she would claim that the two were only hurting each other by staying together. Also leading up to the couple's divorce, the couple were often seen sharing words out in public before heading out and getting snapped by the media in several photos. And after the public arguments, it would seem like Jenna would rather look at her cell phone, then talk to Channing. Number four, Blueface and Krishan Rock. Lately, it seems like Blueface and his girlfriend Krishan keep making headlines for all the wrong reasons. If you've been online for the past few months, then you probably have seen the viral videos and tweets of the rappers going viral with the rise of the couple's reality show, Crazy in Love. However, while some users view the relationship as entertaining, I think we can collectively agree that their relationship is pretty toxic, as we have seen the two enter into some pretty concerning altercations. The problem with the two is not only that the relationship is dangerous, but it's also harmful for the immediate parties around them. While it seems like Krishan is the main reason behind the couple's toxic relationship, she would go into an interview to come out to address the public's concern about her relationship by saying, we're just here learning, figuring things out. We met each other, how we met each other, but that's it. However, now that Krishan has announced her pregnancy with Blueface, things are only going to get more messy going forward and that's what is the most concerning part for their fans watching. Number three, Keith Urban and Nicole Kidman. Like any couple, it's no secret that Keith Urban and Nicole Kidman have endured their fair share of issues throughout their relationship. After all, Keith has used some of their disagreements as inspiration for his songs. While the couple often tends to keep their disagreements away from the media, back in 
2015 when Nicole was captured giving her husband a look that no husband wants to see, the internet would go into a frenzy while they tried to figure out what happened. The confrontation would happen when they were at a movie premiere. Insiders would then tell the Daily Mail that things took a turn when Keith got upset over the couple's very busy schedules as they had spent the year apart. Apparently Keith wanted to return to Australia to be with their family, but Nicole on the other hand was just really sick of Keith sulking about them being apart and she just wanted him to be with her and support her career. Number 2. Rihanna and Chris Brown Back in the day, Rihanna and Chris Brown had a relationship that made us all raise our eyebrows. Eventually during their relationship, after headlines started to show that Chris got into a physical altercation with Rihanna, he would eventually be arrested and charged and eventually the stars would also call off their relationship. Just before the couple was at a pre Grammy party when they started arguing in a car. Later, Rihanna would then open up about the altercation in an interview with Diane Sawyer. There, she would claim that their altercation started after Rihanna saw a text from a girl on Chris's phone. Rihanna then said that she knew he was lying and that he knew he had nowhere to turn. However, Rihanna would then go on to note that there had been warning signs that something bad was going to happen long before the incident. Apparently, the more the couple fell in love, the more they both started to realize how dangerous they were for another. Today, Rihanna has used her experience to help other young women going through similar situations. Number one, Mia Goth and Shia LaBeouf. Just before Mia Goth and Shia LaBeouf decided to split, they had quite a habit of getting caught on camera having these really public fights. Just before the two started dating, Shia actually met and fell in love with Mia Goth on a set of their movie. And eventually they decided to walk down the aisle. While the couple has now gone on their separate ways, they were involved in some pretty high profile and public fights while they were in Germany. In a viral video in 2015, the two could be seen screaming at each other. The footage in that video would then show Shy walking away from the scene and getting into a car as he explains that he didn't want to hurt Mia. Then a source would confirm that apparently when Mia tried to talk to Shy again, he would then respond to Mia by saying he was being pushed and he didn't want to be aggressive. 